<laughs> What's up, friends? Bless you. Bang, bang. Bless you, bless you, bless you. What's up there, people of God? How are you doing? Bless you, bless you, bless you. It's Dr. Pastor Ben Lemire here in the region of Yosemite. And uh, I'm excited to talk to you. Feels like it's been a minute. I've been up here in the mountains for the last two and a half, three days, really just sheltered away from with God from the world, just getting uh, in my prayer closet, in my prayer space. It's been wonderful. So I'm so happy to have you. Do you hear me well? If you hear me well, give us some hearts and likes and a comment below where you're watching from. Amen. And I want to give you some shout outs in a few minutes. But today I'm talking about the anointing that breaks through. The anointing that breaks through. Of course, the anointing will always break through. However, there are certain gifts, graces that specifically break through certain realms, certain things. So we're going to talk about that. The anointing that breaks through. Amen. So bless you. I'm using a new stand and a new ring light. And I really like it. Because uh, I'm looking up, right? So, and uh, the ring light looks great. So, using a new stand and a new ring light. So, I like the way it looks. Praise God. And if you don't, too bad. <laughs> well, um, happy Thursday. Bang, bang. It is July 13th. And the days are going by very fast. And like I said, I've been here literally locked away in a cabin here in the mountains of Yosemite for the last three days, really getting a lot of work done, just quieting my soul, praying, processing, writing, doing a lot of writing. I'm really excited about the new book that we're working on right now called Millennial Prophets Arise. Upgrade your gift, mantle, and kingdom, Metron. And uh, it's just been a writing grace. I'm busy writing different blogs right now. So very excited. Amen. So I'm happy to see you. Uh, yesterday was a big work day for me. I arrived here Tuesday. And yesterday, Wednesday was a big work day for me. And even today, a uh, good amount of work. But I got to go to Yosemite a little bit. Just shaka baba, enjoy. Tomorrow is my full day off, my full Shabbat. And so it's Saturday. So I'm looking forward to that. But uh, Friday... I'm gonna to go tomorrow, I'm gonna to go hiking. And I'm gonna be in the woods, it's gonna be wonderful. One of my favorite things to do. I love hiking. Uh, every year I try to come out to Yosemite. And if you've ever been to California, literally California has everything you need, except for the Democrats. But who here knows that, yes, you know, you still, David needed Goliath to make him great, right? So uh, there's always a purpose. Uh, to these evil left-wing uh, people because wh what they're doing, they're actually making us fight harder and fight stronger, all right? Uh, but if you've ever been to California, California, I mean, it's beautiful, right? I mean, you got the beaches, you got Central Coast, the breadbasket of the world, San Diego, Orange County, San Francisco, Yosemite, Sequoia, incredible, beautiful, beautiful. So tomorrow, I'm going to enjoy a great day of hiking, being in the woods with the Lord Jesus. And uh, like I said, I've been here, literally stuck in a cabin for the last three days, working, praying, getting along with God. It's been wonderful. Amen. Uh, so I hope, uh, you know, tonight pray that I get some good sleep because last night I was not able to get some good sleep. The first night I was able to get some good sleep. But uh, last night I was not able to sleep too deep, too long. But all is well, I believe I will today. Well, today, I want to talk to you about the anointing. I want to talk to you about the anointing. The anointing that breaks you through. So as you're logging in, let me know where you're watching from. Give some hearts and likes. Tag somebody on your wall. Share this on your wall. Amen. And I want to talk about the anointing that breaks through. And it's incredible. I don't know why or how. Our uh, viewership has been so low with Facebook. But the gospel will be preached and the word will be preached, amen? I mean, we have over 200,000 followers, 
But right now, even now, we barely have 70 people here. But it's gonna increase. So help build the algorithm and the room and the atmosphere with me in Jesus' mighty name. Let me say hello to some of you wonderful, beautiful people. Leticia bless you from Baja, California, India. Yakway, good to see you. All right. From Arkansas. Seems to be increasing. Greenwood, South Carolina. Topeka, Kansas. All right. Yeah, usually we go up to about that much. Good to see you, Prophet Chelsea, by the way. From Samoa. Friends, pray with me. Because this is like my weekend of rest. And then next week, I go off to the nation of Samoa. Where we're going to do some crusades. Two different conference crusades. It's going to be awesome. Then I go off to Fiji. Then I, we go off to Hawaii. And it's still not too late for you to register. Be a part of our Hawaii conference. Myself, Prophet Charlie and Bryn Shand. And Steve Swanson. Register online. Or fly in, drive in, swim in. Be with us in person. Amen. My South Africa family, good to see you. Arkansas, San Diego, Fort Worth. Thank you. Hallelujah. Shalom Ambaraba. From Fiji. All right. Well, I'm going to be in your nation first time. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. All right. South Korea in the house. Amen. I'm going to be back in Korea in November. So praise God for that. Hollywood, Providence, Marcella, bless you. Amen. Amen and amen. Well, today I want to talk about the anointing that breaks through. The anointing that breaks through. And, you know, I really believe we're in a season of increase. Now, I know we are in the three-week window called the three weeks of mourning. We are in the three-week window called the three weeks of mourning. And I've been talking about this prophesying about the will and the heart of God. But in these three weeks, God's doing something supernatural. And I believe there's a new measure of the power of the glory of God, a new measure of his anointing that's being poured out over us. Can I get an amen? There's a new measure, same measure. There's a new measure of his power, of his fire, of his grace, of his glory that's being poured out over us. Now, of course, the anointing is different from the glory. And what the anointing means, it means the arm of God. It means the hand of God. To be anointed means that God's hand is outstretched before you. So who here knows there's a difference from being gifted to being anointed? To be gifted means that you're skilled with a gift, with a talent in an area. But when the anointing comes, it breaks every yoke. When the anointing comes, it amplifies and it exponentially increases. So the anointing is a substance and the gift is, and the gift is, the anointing is a substance and the gift is what's in your hand. And the anointing is like the oil. Amen. The anointing is the oil of God. So, of course, one of the names of Jesus, actually, Yeshua has the name Hamashiach. And the Mashiach in the Hebrew, which means Christ, all right? Now, Christ is not his last name. Sorry to ruin your theology if you thought Christ was Jesus' last name. No. Christ is not his last name. That is a title. It's an office. And Christ, which is the... Greek word of Mashiach or Messiah. And that means the anointed one. And what the anointing or the anointed one means, it literally means the hand of God is outstretched before you. Now I want to prophesy. God is releasing a new measure, a new gifting, a new release, a new moment, a new realm of the anointing of God. You are about to experience His hand Stretch out before you like never before. I believe right now, come on, give me some hearts and likes. I believe right now the Lord is beginning to deal with your enemies, 
even while you sleep, even while you are busy with your calling, with your purpose, with your mundane, your usual common day things, God is going to begin to deal with your enemies. And not only that, but God, His hand is outstretched before you, which means that you are covered, you're unstoppable, which means the favor of God, the glory of God, the hand of God, the love of God, the kindness, the chesed, the charismata of Jesus is upon you. Somebody say, I'm favored. So when God's hand is outstretched, it literally means don't touch this one. It means this one is mine. It means this one is chosen and anointed by me. When the anointing is upon somebody, come on. When the anointing is upon a being, an individual, it means that his hand of favor, grace and mercy is upon them. And he says, they are off limits. They're mine. That one belongs to me. So if you mess with them, you mess with me. You got to go through me to get to them. And when the hand of God is outstretched, that means that God does it. The Lord does it. He deals with it himself. Can I get an amen? The anointing deals with it. When you're gifted and you're moving, you're gifting. That means that you are operating in the measure that God has given you. But when you're operating in the anointing, it means the spirit of God is moving through you. Now, I know... I know I'm a, I'm a pretty good preacher, okay? I, I wouldn't say I'm the best preacher, but I do believe I know I'm a good preacher, all right? And uh, that is a gift that I've worked at. That's something that I've worked on. Can I get an amen? So preaching is an art. It's an anointing. It's a gift that I've worked at throughout the years, worked on throughout the years. And, and how so? I preach almost every day, all right? I've preached in crowds of thousands, preached in 56 countries, preached in different languages with translators. I preach on many different scenarios, rooms, situations, etc., etc. Amen and amen. So I've been preaching almost every day for 15 years. So I know that there's a measure of the gift, but I also know when God begins to preach through me, when the Lord begins to preach, move, minister, speak through me, that's the anointing. Those are two different realms. Does that make sense? Those are two different operations. I know when... I'm working the gift or the gift is working or the gift is an operation. And I know when I'm preaching good, but then all of a sudden God begins to speak through me. God begins to move through me. It's like, it's like the Lord just puts me on like a hand in a glove and shoot, the Lord just begins to take over. Full domination, amen, dominion. So those are two different things that many people operate in the gift but they do not allow the anointing to flow. A lot of people operate in the gift, but they are afraid to let the anointing take over. Am I preaching good yet? You, you, you're moving in the gift and you're good with the gift, but you see, even then there's a limit and there's a capacity. There's a capacity and there's a limit to the gifting, but the anointing is limitless and the anointing is endless. Can I get an amen? Now, people of God, today, I want to talk to you about the anointing that breaks you through. Because I believe right now the Lord is releasing a fresh measure, a fresh impartation of the grace, the glory, the anointing of God. If you're with me today, say amen. Now, again, three different realms, gifting, anointing, and the glory. Now, I'm not going to get too deep about the glory. You know, I'm a glory snob. I'm a glory holic. I've studied Glorynomics, Gloriology. I've studied the glory realm. I'm a student of the Kavod, amen? And even the anointing and the glory, those are two different operations, right? Two different facets of God, amen? Now the anointing is the hand of God. It's the doing of God. But the glory is the face of God or the being of God. If you're writing notes, I want you to write that right there. And that one's for free there. The anointing is the hand of God or the doing of God. Because the anointing is the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit moving, activating, participating, that is the doing of the Lord, of the Godhead. But the glory is the being of God. It's who he is. His nature, his character. It's his heart. It's his face. 
Now, those are two different dimensions of operations. And I'm not going to get too deep into the glory right now because I'm talking about the anointing. Because in every season, there's a new measure. And I pray right now, every single person that is connected to the sound of my voice, you will receive a fresh measure, a fresh impartation of the power, the fire, the glory of God. Can I get an amen? Now, right now, there's a new measure of the anointing that's going to come upon you to break you through. Amen. A new measure. And some people have said, how can I receive a new measure of the anointing? When number one, the anointing abides in me. Well, you have to understand, there's the anointing that abides and the anointing that abounds. The anointing that abides in you for salvation, in you for regeneration. And then there's the anointing that abounds or is upon you, not within you, just one. The anointing is within you for regeneration, salvation. But the anointing is upon you for kingdom demonstration. Someone say amen. And that is likened to your mantle. That is likened to your sphere of influence, to your circumference of authority, your kingdom dimension of dominion. All right? Now, some people say, how can I receive a new measure of the anointing? Number one, the anointing in me. All right? We've already discussed that. Number two, some people say, the anointing never grows stale. Now, that's a good one, right? The anointing never gets old because the anointing is alive. The anointing is the Holy Ghost. Amen. He is the Holy and the Anointed One. The reason why Jesus was the Mashiach, the Messiah, which means the Holy and Anointed One, is because He was the most anointed, the most drizzle, drizzle, dribble, dribble, the most dripping. Come on, He's dripping with honey, hyssop, myrrh, oil, frankincense. He's dripping from the head down. Amen. He's dripping. Someone say, I be dripping. Amen. And so Jesus is the most drip. Praise God. And the anointing is always alive. Because the anointing is life. It's the substance of Jesus. It's the oil of the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Spirit. So some people have said, how can I receive a new measure of the anointing? When the anointing is never stale. Okay. Well, well that's a good comment or good comeback. But who here knows that... Just like oil that comes upon your head, all right, whenever you're anointed, you have to keep getting anointed. Amen? You have to keep getting imparted upon. Just like if you're going to take a shower, come on, somebody, you have to continue to take a shower if you want to stay clean, if you want to stay fresh. Amen? Some of you, maybe you took a shower three, four, five days ago, and you think you're fresh. I'm sorry. Get back in the Dunkin' Donuts of the baptismal tank. Can I get hallelujah? But you see, a fresh measure comes upon you. All right, why? Because every season, there's a new measure. Every season, there's a new release. And I believe in this season, in this month of July, there's a new measure and a new release that God's giving unto you. Can I get an amen? It's an anointing for breakthrough. The anointing breaks you through. But it is a specific anointing for breakthrough. Now, I'm going to begin to preach and teach here. If you're enjoying this and you're, if you're receiving, I want you to say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Amen. Comment below where you're watching from. Tag somebody and share this on your wall. Now, I usually do not come on at this time of day, this time of night. It is 9 p.m. Pacific Standard. But uh, like I said, tomorrow and Saturday, those are my days off. So my, my Sabbath. So I'm going to be out in the woods. Amen. So I wanted to give you some bread some words of revelation today. Can I get a hallelujah? So let's go to the word of God here. Let's go to the word of God. First and foremost, um, we're going to go to 1 John 2.27. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. I'm so excited. I'm very excited to talk with you and to release this over you and to go into the things of God today, this evening. Amen. If you're happy to be here, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. 1 John 2, 27. But the anointing that you received from him abides in you. Once again, the abiding anointing, right? And you have no need that anyone should teach you, right? Now, Apostle John was telling the church of that day, stop chasing around all these heretic hunters. Stop chasing around the next 
YouTube influencer, the next social media TED talker, stop going around conference to conference, hopping like a little bunny. No, but focus rather in learning from the Holy Ghost that abides on the inside of you. Amen. But as his anointing teaches you about everything, and it's true, and it's no lie, just as it has taught you to abide in him, all right? So that's the abiding anointing, right? So we see that one of the operations or purposes of the anointing, it is to teach you, all right? Now, I believe right now, we are in a season where God is saying, I want to teach you some new things. I'm ready to talk to you right now. Are you ready to hear this? I believe right now, in order for you to go forward, in order for you to advance into this next season, to break through, you need the Lord to begin to download, to teach you how to do something. The Spirit of God is the Spirit of Rabbani, is the Rabbi of Rabbis. And the Spirit of God is the ultimate teacher. And I believe right now in this season, God is saying, Many of you are ill-equipped, you are under-equipped, you are lacking teaching, lacking revelation to break through to the next level. So I believe right now the Spirit of God is wanting to teach you certain things so that you will have the upper hand and be the head and to break through. If I'm talking to you, I want to say amen. Let me give you an example. As for me, myself, right now the Lord is... Speak to, speaking to me highly and deeply. The Lord is, you know, I'm writing, I'm working on a new book right now titled Millennial Prophets Arise. I'm very excited about this book. Very, very excited. Uh, <laughs> and somebody the other day said, why not uh, just put it in chat GPT? The devil is a liar. Artificial intelligence don't got nothing on the Holy Ghost. I will not use AI to write a book on the Holy Ghost and on the prophetic. Uh-uh. I got the greatest intelligence. It's called AI as in the alpha intelligence. The alpha and omega intelligence. Amen. But um, I believe right now God is downloading, uploading. He's releasing blueprints, dreams, visions, revelation. And he's wanting to teach you to be effective. To break through to the next level. If I'm talking to you, I want to say, man, if this... Bears witness with your spirit. I want you to say amen. Because I believe we are in a critical point, a critical junction of time right now. And the Lord is saying, come up higher. The Lord is saying, come up higher. So I can show you, I can teach you, I can give you, I can impart into you new measures, new tools, new giftings, new vision for the future. Can I get an amen? In fact, even the other day, uh, I, I was, uh, I got this opportunity, which is incredible, um, social media marketing with AI technology, social media intelligence, social media marketing with AI, AI technology. So one of my friends is a, a, a co-owner of this new company that they've released out of Canada. So they want me to be involved, et cetera, et cetera. So that's going to be incredible. So in those terms, we use AI, we use technology, Amen. But the greatest technology is your big brain. You are the greatest technology. Amen. In fact, prayer is a form of technology. Praying in tongues is a form of technology. Can I get an amen? All right. That's for another day, another season. But there's opportunities being released and opened up and given. And I believe right now God has said, I want to teach you. Come up higher. I want to show you certain things. All right. So the anointing breaks you through. Praise God. Let's go to one more verse here. I want to go to one more verse. And then I'm going to give you some realms that I believe God is causing us to break through in this season right now. All right. Isaiah 10, 27. And in that day, his burden will depart from your shoulder. All right. And his yoke from your neck. And the yoke will be broken because of the fat of the translations, the oil of the translations, the anointing. Amen. The anointing is a fat, is the oil, is the butter, is a creme de la creme. So the anointing breaks every yoke. Amen. Now, some of you, you may 
still be struggling in an area. Maybe you're struggling financially. You're struggling relationally. You continue to struggle with this one person in this one area. You continue to struggle in your purity, in your identity. You see, the anointing breaks every yoke. But here's the big question. Why do people still struggle or why do people still feel bound to certain areas in their lives? Why? Well, it's because the anointing must manifest into certain specific anointings. Okay? If you're following me so far, just nod your head yes. There's the anointing, the top head anointing, and then it flows into specific anointings, right? Like who you knows in the book of James. Apostle James says, if any of you are sick, call the elders. They will pray for you and anoint you with oil. Who you knows that it's not just one type of oil. It's not just the olive oil. No, it's hyssop, frankincense, frankincense, myrrh, lavender, spikenard, cinnamon. It's different types of oils that are specific to release healing for specific areas or specific realms in people's bodies. If you're following this over, just nod your yes. So why do people not experience breakthrough? It's because I believe there's many anointings, okay? Some people do not agree with this, but let me propose this to you. The, the Bible says in the book of John, from your belly will flow streams of living water, okay? Rivers of living water, all right? Now, we all know there's only one main anointing, but from the Godhead anointing, from the main anointing will flow multiple streams, multiple rivers, specific anointings for specific things. Amen. So I do believe there's a financial anointing. I do believe there's a healing anointing, a prophetic anointing. I do believe there's a deliverance anointing. I do believe there's a prophetic anointing, etc. Cetera, et cetera. I believe there's many, it's the manifold wisdom of God, but it's all from the same operation of the anointing. Are you hearing me? However, the specificity, the specifics, the specific, I feel the Holy Ghost right now, Jesus. The specifics manifest or is pulled on, pulled down from by your hunger. By your hunger. Amen. It's by your hunger. So I do believe the Lord. He wants to release specific anointings to release deliverance, freedom, breakthrough from bondages from specific areas. Amen. All right. So the anointing that breaks you through. Let's talk about the anointing that breaks you through. All right. Now I've talked about the anointing. I've taught on the anointing a number of times. But today I want to talk about seven purposes of the anointing. Seven purposes. And listen, if you're enjoying this, I want you to say amen. Give some hearts and likes. Praise God. Help us to break the 200 mark today. Amen. It's a slow start. But hey, with your help, with the help of the Holy Ghost, the helper, we are getting there. Amen. But I want to talk to you about seven purposes of the anointing. And specifically in this season we're in, this season of July. Now, are you ready to receive? All of that was a build-up introduction to what I am about to say right now. So are you ready to receive? In the mighty name of Jesus. That's you say amen. All right, number one. The anointing, number one, gives you eyes to see. Gives you eyes to see. Now let's go a little bit deeper there. In the book of Revelation, it talks about the eye salve talks about washing your eyes with eye salve. Whenever the oil comes upon you, the oil is lit up to illuminate light. Matthew 25, right? You got the bride, the foolish, the foolish brides and the foolish virgins and the wise virgins, excuse me. And they use the oil to light up their lamps. <clears throat> that stands for vision. That stands for sight. Foresight, insight, and hindsight. I want to say the foresight, insight, and hindsight. So the eye salve 
is a specific oil or a specific type of uh, uh, liquid to wash your eyes clean. I believe right now the Lord is giving you fresh eyes. The Lord is opening up your eyes in the spirit realm so that you can see. He who has our eyes to see, ears to hear. I believe right now, in this moment, many of you, hear me now. Many of you, you're in a teeter-totter sea of decision. You are before the Lord in the valley of decision. And right now, you are in a teeter-totter. Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I go forward? Do I stay? There is a decision-making anointing that's coming upon you. But you will make the right decision by discerning with your vision. Let me say that again. You will make the right decision by your discernment of vision. Your decision equals your discernment of vision. Remember, the ten spies saw themselves as grasshoppers. The two spies, Joshua and Caleb, saw the giants as grasshoppers. Perspective. I believe right now God wants to give you prophetic perspective. I believe in this season right now, the anointing wants to come upon you afresh to give you new vision, new sight. Suddenly, oh, I feel the Lord right now. Suddenly, you're going to be able to see wolves in sheep clothing. Suddenly, your Judas will be revealed. Suddenly, the blinders will fall. You've been looking all along, but finally you're going to see the one you're meant to be with the one you're meant to marry, the one you're meant to be in covenant with, the answer's right in front of you. Suddenly, someone say amen. So I believe right now God is giving an anointing to see. Amen. The anointing to see. The anointing to see. And I've talked about this many times, but I believe God is raising up nocturnal prophets. Now, what does that mean? Nocturnal prophets. Nocturnal means to be awake at night. Your vision is clearer in the dark. Come on, somebody. So I say, preach, Dr. Ben. God is raising up nocturnal seers, nocturnal prophets. No matter how dark it is on the outside, no matter how dark the night of the soul, no matter how dark the world is, you are able to see the glory, the light, the illumination, the beauty of Jesus Christ. So God is giving you night goggles. God is giving you night vision. So I believe, number one, and I'm not saying that this is the entire purpose of the anointing. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's a disclaimer right now. But what I'm saying is I'm releasing seven specific purposes of the anointing for your life in this season. Someone say now, 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 now. The anointing is going to cause you to see. You're going to see fresh opportunities. You've been walking around and around over and over, but you didn't realize you've been walking on top of a gold mine. You've been walking on top of a hidden well. Get ready for the anointing to see. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. So number one, the anointing causes you to break through in your vision. God's going to anoint your eyes to see. Number two, the second thing the anointing is doing for you in this season, this month of July, this Hebrew month of Tammuz. The second thing I believe God's doing, number one, he's giving you vision. Who needs fresh vision right now? I prophesy, God is giving you clear vision. God is giving you clear vision right now. Ooh, if you receive that same. And number two, the second purpose of the anointing. The second area the anointing is going to break you through in, amen, is in the realm of joy. Someone say joy. Now, some of you just need to laugh. <laughs> some of you just need to laugh at the devil. You need to just look at yourself in the mirror and just laugh your head off. Amen. There's a restoration of joy that's coming to you. Who here knows in the book of Nehemiah? The Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Who you knows that joy is one of the fruits of the Holy Ghost. According to the book of Galatians. Can I say amen? So God is about to release the oil of gladness. Come on somebody. Bang, bang. Some of you 
are tired. You're burnt out. You're crying out to God. Some of you, you feel defeated. You feel miserable. You're tired. You've been going through a battle. You've been running, running, running for the last month, for the last season. Trust me, I've been running for the last six months. Amen. There's going to be a fresh measure. Whew, there it is. Of the joy of the Lord. Bang, bang. Drink up. Drinks are on the house. It's called the new wine of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Bang, bang. River <laughs> shit. I believe the second area of breakthrough God's releasing in the anointing is the realm of joy. Do you feel like something stole your joy in the last season? Do you feel joyless, hopeless? Do you feel bogged down by anxiety, worry, and the cares of the world? Jesus said, do not worry. That is one of his most repeated commandments all throughout the Old and the New Testament. Do not worry. Amen. Rejoice and be glad in him. Rejoice, I say again, rejoice. So number two, the second area, hallelujah. Renew the joy of your salvation. Come on, somebody. Renew the joy whew, of your salvation. I feel the Holy Ghost. Come on, lift up your hands. Begin to pray right now. Put a demand on the Lord right now. I feel the Holy Ghost. Rabasad, the Lord is filling, filling, filling you to overflow. Joy breaks the back of religion. Joy breaks the back of of depression the joy of the lord bang bang breaks the yoke of tiredness and lethargicness the joy of the lord is your strength someone say amen bang someone say hallelujah <laughs> bang bang rababa the bible says the lord sits in the heavens and he laughs at your enemies he laughs at your enemies Come on, somebody. Your enemies are a joke. Your enemies make God laugh. <laughs> Your enemies are a joke. Hallelujah. So the second purpose of the anointing, I believe in the season, it's going to cause you to break through in joy. Some say joy. God's going to fill you up. Fill, fill, fill. Melissa, fill. Rob, fill. Fill, fill, fill. The Lord is going to fill you up to overflow. Amen. Now, the third realm that the anointing breaks you through in, the third realm, and I'm speaking prophetically and specifically for this season that we're in right now, all right? Because some of you, you've lost your joy, all right? Ooh, there it is. Some of you lost your joy. Some of you, boom, there it is, fire of the Holy Ghost. So number three, the third realm, the anointing breaks you through in. Are you ready for this? It causes the stress to become ease. The anointing of God is the ease of God. It's the grace of God. Now, what is the grace of the Lord? The grace means the ease of heaven. It's easy. Who you know? Yeah, I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of suffering. If you, if you love revival, get ready to suffer. I mean, but... There's a realm in the glory where there's no suffering at all. Amen. There's a realm in the glory where it's just breakthrough after breakthrough. Miracle after miracle. Can I get an amen? So doing the things of God, doing the work of God, it, it can be tiring. Absolutely. But when the anointing is on you, fire! When the anointing is on you, there's an ease. Some would say it's easy. It's easy. There's an ease. There's a joy. There's a grace. Everybody loves each other. You're in harmony. Kumbaya, my Lord. There's no drama. There's no devils. And here's the thing, people. Listen. I know everybody is wired a little differently. But you and I must operate from the third heavens, not the second. There's a lot of second heavens prophets. A lot of ministers who operate from the second heavens. Not the third heavens. And they're always talking about witchcraft. Always talking about warfare. Always blaming the devil. They talk more about the devil than Jesus. 
Uh uh. They talk more about demons than the Holy Ghost. Uh uh. No, no, not today, Satan. Amen. But I'm sharing this because if you're always experiencing drama, then is that the will of the Lord? Now, I'm not saying there's not going to be backlash, warfare, struggle, suffering, persecution. No, I'm not saying that at all. Look at the life of David. David literally struggled and ran away for about 15 years. David was under persecution. He was anointed to be king, but for 15 years, he was under the struggle, the persecution of Saul. All right? But even though he was anointed, come on. So you could be anointed, yet you're experiencing warfare. Absolutely. But there comes a season of turnaround, of overflow, where everything begins to overflow with ease, with grace, with love, with Shaka Baba and Shada Bada Honda. Your life is not meant to go from struggle to struggle. It's meant to go from glory to glory. Your life is not meant to be from drama to drama. I'm sorry. You Debbie Down Downer. I'm sorry you Debbie Downer. All right? I'm sorry if you're a Downer Debbie. I'm sorry if you're a Nancy Pelosi. Sorry. But you're not going to ruin this party. Uh-uh. I'm not letting that spirit come into my space. Can I get an amen? Because this space is holy. And I guarantee you, if you come into my territory, you're going to get hit with the Holy Ghost. Fool you. You're going to get shaka bam with the fire of God. Amen. Depression don't live here. Drama don't live here. So don't be coming into this territory with your demon of drama. All right, ease. Hear me now. The Lord is about to make it easy for you. Rob Filler, hear me, brother. God is, ab is about to make it easy for you. Come on, if you agree with this, I want you to say amen right now. The Lord is about to make it easy for you. The anointing makes it. My burden is light and my yoke is easy. Some would say easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's so easy. It's like, it's like butter. Your feet will be bathed in butter. Shoot. Which means there's a realm of preparation and provision that has gone before you. Amen. Prophet is Chelsea. It's going to be easy for you. Amen. The years of drama, trauma, struggle, and warfare is over. It's going to be easy for you. Hallelujah. If you receive that, say amen. So the third purpose of the anointing that God is going to break you through in, in this season, there's going to be ease. I know you've been struggling. Some of you, you've been experiencing uh, extreme warfare. But God, God is about to release an ease over your life. Number four, if you're enjoying this, say amen, give some hearts and likes. Help me to break to 200, amen? Number four, the fourth purpose of the anointing. Praise God. It is empowerment and breakthrough. Empowerment and breakthrough. Now, of course, one of the words, one of the words of the Holy Spirit coming upon the church is dunamas, right? And dunamis stands for dynamite. Some say dynamite. It's dunamis dynamite power. So when the Spirit of God comes upon you, it can otherwise be termed or coined as the Spirit of might. The Spirit of might. Now, I've talked about the Spirit of might, I believe in the New Breed and the Men of Valor, my two books that I've published. But the Spirit of might is one of the seven spirits of God according to Isaiah 11 and Revelation chapter 2. The spirit of might came upon Samson whenever he felt burdened by the Philistines. The spirit of might came upon Samson at his last breath. And he was able to take out more he did in that moment than his whole entire lifetime. It's a spirit of might. Empowerment, endowment, to be endued, endowed with power from on high so that you can do supernatural things. Some people look at my life and they say, it is naturally not possible 
for somebody to keep traveling, preaching, working as hard as Dr. Ben Lin. You know what I'm saying? That's a grace right there. If you tried, I guarantee you, you'd be tired by the third day. You have to be called. And when you're called, there's a specific anointing that's reserved, preserved for you in that place. If you're with me, say amen. So there's breakthrough and empowerment. It's the spirit of might. And when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you begin to do supernatural things. Now, how many of you, you're, you're, you're tired, but all of a sudden, shoo, the spirit of prayer comes upon you, and now you become this lion. You're a little chihuahua. Oh, oh, oh. You're a little chihuahua, but all of a sudden, the power of God comes upon you, and you start roaring, and we're all like, who the heck is you? Right? That's the spirit of might. That's the spirit that comes upon Abide, tarry, wait until the Spirit of God comes upon you. Not too many people continue to pray or press in until the power of God comes upon them. From on high, from on high, William J. Seymour used to call it the Comforter has come. One of the old Pentecostal groups, I forget who, Excuse me, but they used to say, power from on high. So right now, many of you feel tired and you feel weak. The anointing is about to empower you. Break every chain, every feeling of slime, disgust, depression, loneliness, reba shata, and the spirit of God. It's going to come upon you, break every chain, every yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. Get ready for supernatural empowerment and breakthrough. The spirit of might to come upon you afresh in the name of Jesus. If you receive that, say amen. Number five, the fifth area that the anointing breaks you through in is financially. Now, some people don't like that I talk about finances. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm called to talk about finance. I'm not afraid to talk about money. All right? The love of money is the root of all evil. However, using money is not evil. We're meant to, money is just a tool. It's the toilet paper that's in your bathroom. Amen. Sorry if that's a little graphic for some of you new watchers. But money's nothing. All right? We operate from the currency of heaven. Can I get an amen? But we use the currency of earth to trade, to exchange, to do the work, the will of the Lord here on earth. But the anointing causes you to prosper. The anointing causes you to thrive financially. It's an anointing. It's a specific anointing. Some say preach Dr. Ben. The anointing causes you to break out of debt. The anointing is a debt-breaking anointing. No, God says be the lender, not the borrower. Be the head, not the tail. Be the giver, not the taker. Be the lender, not the borrower. For the borrower is enslaved to the lender. So because God sets the captives free, because God took captivity captive, amen, I feel the Lord. Because God is the jubilee anointing. So therefore, when the anointing comes upon you, there is an increase of financial provision. Is God not our provider? Amen. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's a God who provided manna daily. And when the Israelites complained, he gave them quail. Amen. God is a God who gives you the land of the milk and honey. He provides. He provides even before you ask. It's there. But hear me now. When you step into the anointing, that is how you begin to experience the manifestation of the provision that was already prepared for you. Let me say that again. Only when you step into the anointing will you be able to fully experience the realm of no lack, the realm of abundance. The anointing is abundant. Like I said earlier, the gifting is limited, 
but the anointing is limitless. So when you tap into God's bank account, when you tap into God's bank account, then you can make endless withdrawals, limitless withdrawals. How many of you have a limit if you go to the ATM machine? You could only take out maybe $5,000 a day. Some of you maybe 500. Come on somebody. With each transaction. But you go to the Lord and you can receive limitless withdrawals. Limitless transactions. The anointing is breaking you through in the realm of provision. In the realm of financial increase. The Spirit of God does not want you to struggle with a spirit of poverty, to struggle with a spirit of lack. In him there is no lack. Jesus said, I have given you life and all the more abundant life. I've given you life in abundance. Amen. Now God is releasing the measure of abundance. Hallelujah. How do you step into the realm of the abundance? The anointing. You step into the anointing. You allow the Holy Ghost, the oil, the measure to come. Shoot. And then you begin to expound and expand in the abundance of God. So number five, the fifth area. Hallelujah. The fifth area that the anointing breaks you through in specifically for this season right now. Who needs a miracle? A financial breakthrough. Let the anointing do the work. Let the anointing come upon you. Provision, abundance is already prepared for you in the anointing of God. So say amen. One of the definitions of anointing means to excel. It means that you excel to the next level. Someone say hallelujah. I declare fire on you right now. The fire of God upon your life. From the top of your head shoo, to the soles of your feet. My goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Manda basha karabrosata. Zibabasata. As the deer panteth forth for water, so my soul longeth after thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long <laughs> to worship thee. My goodness. I want you to just soak in that grace right now. Man, I'm so drunk on the Holy Ghost right now. Shh. <laughs> I'm so... I believe I'm asleep good tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus. I'm preaching myself to a knockout punch right now. Jesus. Lift up your hands. God, I thank you right now. Touch your people. Jesus. Thank you, Father, for a new measure of the glory of God, a new measure of the anointing of heaven. <sighs> Joy in the Holy Ghost. Freedom, salvation. New vision. Hallelujah. I declare. That vision of darkness and depression that was veiled by the veil. I declare now that veil of heaviness is being removed. 
like a bride that's hidden behind a veil. The veil is removed and you shall now see the beauty of the glory of God. Jesus. Shut up, 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 up. I need to finish this. But I'm so drunk on the Holy Ghost. Alright, help me to finish, Lord. Very quickly, because I'm already knocked down in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Shut up. I preach myself to knock out nap. Hallelujah. Number six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I like this new stand and this new ring light. It makes me look good. <laughs> it makes me look good. Say goodbye to this stand. <laughs> Fire of the Holy Ghost. Jesus. <laughs> uh, hey, the glory looks good on you. <laughs> the glory makes you look good. It makes you look like God. <laughs> bang, bang. All right. Um, <laughs> Ew. Bang, bang. Rebesete. All right. Help me, Lord. Number six. <laughs> the sixth area that the anointing is going to break you through in. The sixth area the anointing is going to break you through in. It's healing. I want to say healing. All right. Of course, the anointing, the balm of Gilead. The anointing, the Spirit of God, the Comforter, the Counselor. He's the Healer. And I believe right now the Lord is releasing healing right now. I see a wave of healing coming to you right now. I see a literally like a mantle of healing coming over you right now. Some of you feel empty, feel poor. Some of you feel... So you, you feel naked, you feel vulnerable, you feel lost. There is a wave of healing coming over you right now. His banner over me is love. Jehovah Nisi. Amen. So even now, I appropriate the authority and the function of the name Jehovah Nisi over your life. I appropriate the anointing and the authority of the name Jehovah Nisi over your life right now. Bam! In Jesus' name. Somebody say, I'm covered. Come on. I'm covered by God Co. Not Guy Co. I'm covered. <laughs> Someone say, Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, help me to finish. <laughs> and maybe that's why I don't do these late night broadcasts. <laughs> Shut up. But that's what happens. I preach myself good. Preach myself silly. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is healing. Fire of the Holy Ghost. All right. And number seven. The seventh realm, the anointing breaks you through it. I mean, the seventh realm, the anointing breaks you through it. It is freedom from bondage. Freedom from bondage. Now, I believe a lot of us, we've been dealing with a spirit of heaviness, which is, can be a spirit of python witchcraft. And or a lot of us, we've been dealing with mind-binding spirits. My, it's like the octopus marine spirit. Mind-binding. Now, what's a mind-binding spirit? It's something that is causing you to feel like you're going insane. Like a mad cow disease. It's something that feels like it's suffocating your brain, your mind. And it's sucking the life out of you. And you have headaches. You're maybe getting some dizzy spells. Jesus. Jesus. But I believe right now, the Lord is breaking off the spirit of witchcraft, mind-binding spirits, word curses, darts and arrows of jealousy and gossip and slander. And the Lord is breaking you free from every form of bondage. My goodness. The anointing is being released over you to break you through in these seven areas. 
If you receive it, say amen. Now listen right now. If one of these seven areas, you're saying, Pastor Ben, I need the anointing to come upon me. In one of these seven areas, I want you to say, that's me. And I want you to comment. I want you to comment what area, what realm you need the anointing to break you through in. Amen. The anointing to break you through in. Can I get a hallelujah? Some of you, you have constant drama, constant warfare. It's like plaque in your teeth. It's just built up. Ew, I know, disgusting. Thank you, Lord. Sharababrota. Thank you, Jesus. Rebesete. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just thank Him and praise Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know why it does these little diamonds. These little diamond bags. But whatever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on, comment below. Respond to the man of God. Respond to the prophet. Listen, Margaret, Margaret K., you really need to join my 7M. You're one of the chosen. You need to join my 7M. Yes, Lord. Jabarabu Sata. Thank you, Lord. I'm seeing all of your comments come in right now. And right now, I come in agreement as a man of God, as a minister of the word. And I come in agreement and we appropriate the anointing, a fresh and a new measure. If you've been feeling crushed, you know the crushing produces the oil. <laughs> The crushing produces the oil. And some of you, you've been feeling an unusual crushing, an unusual battle. It's because there's a new measure. Some of you preach talk to there's a new measure that's being released over you, a new measure. It's being released out of you and over you. Thank you, Lord. Raman de Boshata. So Lord, I thank you right now. God will crush the head of what has tried to crush you. Come on, somebody say candy crush. God will crush the head of what has tried to crush you. Amen. And soon the God of peace will crush the head of the serpent under our feet. Hallelujah. Come on, I want you to begin to pray a lot of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for a new measure, a new anointing, a new release. Cha! Whatever's been restricting, hindering, obstructing the flow the release. I thank you that it's destroyed now. It's done now. In the name of Jesus. Come on, I want you to give me some hearts and likes. Begin to pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Rababo satama shata. Rebebo satama sakarabrata. Rebe setama sakarabrata. Manabo satama shaka. Jabarabosa. A new measure is coming over you, Natalie, in Jesus' name. Joseph Aradins. 
a new measure is coming over you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Sonia, a new measure. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Pulse of Pamela, a new measure of healing. Come upon your body now in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 My goodness, help me, Lord. My life is not my own. To you I adore. I give myself, I give myself to you. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. Jesus. Jesus. Somebody shout fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Shamana Mama, fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Masakare Besata. In the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen. Listen, if you feel, I can literally feel the vibrations of God on my body. It's almost like you're sizzling in a frying pan right now. Like, are you feeling the rumblings of God on your body? Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, if you enjoyed this word today, I want to say amen. Receive a new measure. And I prophesy, many of you today, if you're in the United States, you're about to go to sleep soon. I declare, get ready for a God encounter in your dream. Amen. If you receive this, amen. Now, you that are already awake watching this, you may be in Asia or in Africa, Pakistan, etc., etc. And if you are just awaking, waking up, I declare you will experience a divine appointment and encounter with Jesus today in your day. In Jesus' name. If you receive that, say amen. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Rebe rabo sata. Shata rababa. Now, real quick, before we end, I do want to encourage you, follow this ministry. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. Give us a heart, give us a like, give us a follow. Even somebody who gave me an angry face. Give me more of those. Give me more of those angry faces. Hallelujah. <laughs> but uh, consider subscribing. Be a monthly partner with this ministry. From now to the end of the year, I am traveling internationally a lot. So we're doing many crusades, crusade in Dominican Republic and Samoa next week. We have many things planned. So pray with us, amen. But I also do have a free Zoom webinar coming up, a free Zoom webinar uh, next month. Now, it is far off, but uh, I want you to be aware of it and sign up now. It's free. All of our Zoom webinars are for free. Extensive three, four hour teaching, deep in the prophetic, deep in the glory, in prayer. And we're going to talk about effective spiritual warfare. Did you know there's an effective way to pray? And did you also know that sometimes... Your prayers are not effective. That's why the Bible says the prayers of the righteous are effectual, are effectual. Thank you, Carlo, bless you, love you. And uh, so I have a free Zoom webinar in August, when is it, August 28th, over a month from now. It's because I'm traveling the nations. But uh, why don't you sign up and join 
and be a part of that. Amen. Join, join, join. Effective spiritual warfare. Join hundreds of us from all around the world as we talk about effective spiritual warfare. Amen. Now, I also want to talk about Hawaii. Somebody say aloha. Now, you look like you need a vacation. Yeah, you. I'm actually looking at myself, so I'm talking to me. So join us. I'm going to be in Oahu, Hawaii, July 27 to July 30th. And Prophet Charlie Champ <clears throat> and Bryn Champ will be with me. And we will also have Steve Swanson. Now, if you're not able to come and join us in the beautiful island of Hawaii, I want to say boo-hoo, sad for you. Just kidding. If you're not able to come in person, register online and join us online. You'll have to register to be a part of every online session. It's going to be powerful. So dynamic. Prophet Charlie is one of my favorites. And so is Steve Swanson. Come on, this is, bam, a glory combustion. So I want to invite you to come. Come, 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 join, join. It's still about two weeks. Wow. In two weeks, I'm going to be in Hawaii. Shaka Baba. Let's go. Bam, bam. And next week, I'm going to be in Samoa and Fiji. Then I go to Hawaii. Um, so you need to register if you want to be a part of the online conference. It's going to be awesome. Danny Mori says, got my tickets. Amen. Rashonda, what's my cash app? Prophet is Ivana or Alana, can you paste it there? Thanks so much. They're part of our team. Thank you for wanting to sow. I'm not going to take up an offering now, but if you want to sow, you know where to go. You know what to do. But uh, I'm going to be in Hawaii, Prophet Charlie Champ, Bryn Champ, and Steve Swanson. It's going to be awesome. So that's June, July 27th to the 30th. It's not too late. For you to sign up, for you to join. It's not too late for you to come and be a part of our greater glory, Oahu. Amen? It's going to be awesome. So who's coming or who's joining online? If you're coming, say coming or joining. Say I'm joining. Amen? Yes, it will be live, but you must register online. Stacy says, got my tickets. Awesome. Praise God. That is a cash app if you want to sell to our ministry, oh my God. Farwa Joseph, got my ticket. Okay, awesome. Stacy, awesome. Wow. I'll give my ticket, Prophet is Chelsea. Amen. Can't wait to see you. Sherry, amen. April, amen. Carrie. I missed most of the work. Can you do a quick re recap? Sorry, what am I, Burger King? You just watch it again. Bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. We'll join Marie Thompson. All right, amen. Providence Ivana joining online. It's going to be so awesome, so awesome. And you know what? We already, we, we're about 90% there in confirming our speaker for our Hawaii conference in December. Now, it's gonna be a game changer. It's gonna be a game changer. You will probably announce it in Hawaii in about two weeks time, so. Awesome, Marie Hope. Thanks for being a subscriber. Rob Filler. Glory. And last but not least, I want to mention to you my online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. All right, if you didn't know, I do have an online group mentorship. And uh, if you're part of this online group mentorship, number one, we have at least two private Zooms a month. All right, if you enjoy this ministry, if you enjoy 
these teachings, imagine how great it is to get even more. Amen? So, uh, 7M Glory Equip, you can join, and we have at least two private Zooms a month. At least two. Second thing is you join a private Telegram group with our whole family. And these people are incredible. Rob Filler, Melissa Filler, Becky Weaver, I saw you. Um, April, they're all, Felipe, they're all a part of 7M Glory Quit. It's still not too late for you to be mentored. Do you want to be mentored? Do you want to grow into things of God? Get in a company, get in a group, get under, get with, get, be aligned to a man, woman, and God. It will change your life. Amen? And uh, number two, you'll join a private telegram group. And then number three, you have greater access, connection, and proximity to me. All right? And as well, number four, you get discounts on all of our conferences, merchandise, et cetera, et cetera. So it's not too late. Amen? If you want covering, connection, mentorship, impartation, consider joining 7M Glory Equip. It will greatly bless you. Amen? Where do you find a mentorship? Well, I just pinned it to the top, my friend. But I will comment here. That's where you find You could, whatever you want to do, you just go to my website, benlimglobal.com. Amen? benlimglobal.com. Carla, oh, McCunt, I would so love to have you. People, can I just boast on the sister, Carla McCunt, real quick. Carla and her friend, uh, I'm forgetting her name, oh my goodness. It's late, excuse me. Lori Beckham, all right, she's the prophetess. But Carla and Lori, they're family. They've been avid followers, supporters of me and our ministry for years years so i just want to give you a shout out i love you so much your kids are adorable love you love Lori. love you carla i would love to have you in our online group mentorship i think it would really bless and benefit you a lot <laughs> carla's one of those 7m type of women amen one of those 7m type of wonder woman how do you join the mentorship you just apply, you go to my website, all right? You just go here and you join, praise God. Now there is a monthly fee, but you gotta pay to play, amen? You gotta pay the price. So, praise God, praise God, praise God. Well, praise the Lord, people. I love you. Bless you. I'm happy I got to see you today. And I hope you're blessed by this breakthrough broadcast. Amen. Now, Shabbat Shalom. It's already Friday, pretty much. Shabbat Shalom. Hope to see you in Hawaii, in Samoa. Hope to see you in the 7M Glory Equip, my online group mentorship. Follow me. Give us a like. Follow. Subscribe. Share. Amen. Share, share, share. Praise God. And uh, love you so much. Thank you. Where do I register? I'm going to watch online. Just go to benlamglobal.com. Amen. Thanks, guys. Bless you. Shalom.